Well hello there, I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. This is a series that I am doing called uh, Tarot of the Heart or the Heart of the Tarot, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> uh, it works both ways ways for me and I've actually started to call it in a playlist um, so you'll be able to group them all together with that and some of the other Marseille stuff that I have um, content I've put together so um, I hope you enjoy it so today's cards are the Empress and the Emperor cards three and cards four because they are go hand in hand when I sort of um, I'll talk about them individually and then I'll talk about why I have put them together and demonstrate how that works for me together and hopefully that will help you um, read them. The Empress, the Empress, here she is, is about trust. She reigns over the world. She's not just a queen. Queens are queens. That She reigns over a whole uh, empire. She is... Um, she has a scepter in her left hand which is uh, yin or feminine um, and she has the tamed eagle here against her chest corresponding with Taurus uh, she rules Venus as well I find Venus uh, linked with the Empress a lot and it's Venus it's Venus in Taurus together if you want to sort of put them together because she's very much um, about protection and stabilizing and signs of having a non-aggression pact her goal is to teach us to sort of shape what we want and she she's about commitment and sort of going through the long haul so she wants commitment to make towards ourselves the commitment we do for ourselves and the commitment that we work that has worked towards others or commit to others is very important because she uh, being that Venus energy it is all about um, commitment um, and what we value in love she's if you're doing a love reading she will represent an engagement because and and sworn to once again it's that ring of commitment stuff uh, she's got uh, She's got some interesting jewellery on here, but I'll just quickly go through love because of about the commitment, har harmony and dialogue, working things out. She is, and um, as I said, commitment, fidelity, she's all those wonderful things. I usually often use her as the woman in a reading. Um, if I'm reading for a woman and the man in a reading, I read as the emperor. Now, I don't get too caught up in who's, what sort of relationship it is. There's always, um, in my view, a yin and a yang energy, and uh, that's how I look at it. It's not sort of personal. It's just, you know, the way it is for me. Um, work best raised. Um, she is about commitment to your work, getting your work validated. If you're looking for a rise, she's about rise. You're popular at work. You can go to, you can reach high levels at work, you know, like work through slowly um, the ranks of work if that's where you're up to. There's motivation there and work agreements will be solid with her in the reading. Money is about good financial management. She's good with money, um, although she likes nice things. And um, she's got contracts are always successful because there's been really good negotiation and dealing with that um, if you spend it's all about comfort and pleasure with with that card um, and also health she's about being healthy being outside taking breaks so you're not overworked she's all that Venus energy stuff of, of self-care and looking after yourself and very much about keeping communication open and keeping it fluid and facilitating communication between people her looking at her what we see in the card um she's based sort of on i guess some people say based on a bit of egyptology because there's this pyramid here which um in this 
Grimond, Mara Marseille deck is um, the pyramid um, of Cleopatra's pyramid about holy power. She symbolizes vital energy um, and she's often like a mother figure in the cards. Um, having said that, some people will read her as the mother in the pregnancy card and stuff like that and she is like the overall mother archetype. But for me, when I read this, when I'm looking for birth and pregnancy stuff, if I'm doing that sort of reading, and I haven't done for a lot of years because people don't ask that stuff anymore. Uh, <laughs> but um, that would be the star because that's like a new life. But there you go. Um, that's my interpretation. Remember I've talked on other videos how in when you read and connect with your cards well and you start reading for people, be it friends, family, or even for yourself, if, you, if you're doing a reading and you say, well, what's happening for me today? And you lock that off in timing and then you reflect back what happened in that day, no matter what cards you're using or any divination, you will get a feeling of what that card means for you beyond the book meanings. So this scepter is the scepter of Heka. It's about energy, respect for the monarch, They've both got it. Um, she is sort of slightly flirtatious and friendly, if you like. Um, that is that sort of necklace there, like a bit of adornment stuff happening. Um, and she's also, she's got the white on a dress, which is about purity. And, um, and she's balanced in nature. She's a balanced woman in this card thing. So she is also about following through the project to the end. The Empress is associated with contracts, writings, marriages and official victories. Um, and she's also linked with success and happiness. So it's a very positive card as an outcome card in a, um, in a reading for you. And she's intelligent and she's ambitious in a, in a very healthy way. Then we've just... <sighs> I've just got to check this phone. It's Richard. It's doing things. There we go. Pardon about that. Get spammed, don't you? Um, then we have the Emperor, card number four. And he's in the building game. He's a construction person. He's got the bent legs of the number four. And he represents, where she represents earth, he is earth, air, water and fire, but fire sort of very strong. So he's that four that can protect all the elements of the house, looking at the legs there. He represents Mars when Mars ruled Scorpio. And if um, you're doing horror readings, Ma, you were using the traditional planets, not the modern planets. So that links in with uh, that because he advances us to want to learn how to build our projects and build for the future. In love, he's very sincere. His heart does not cheat and balance is assured with him because he's sort of keeping his balance there. He, um, he, wants, he likes change and things to keep moving. He's not I know he looks stagnant there, but he's she's sitting down, he's standing up, so he's gotten up off his chair, so he sort of makes a move, even though he directs, because he's like a king, he's an, um, the emperor directs other people. Um, uh, motivation and successful in the work area your career takes off, it's about contracts and partnerships and projects are all very solid. It's also about promotion in the air. He's sort of like the, got the, all the elements in one earth, wind and fire and water <laughs> money very money orientated um money to do pay for what you need money comes in as it's expected good with managing money good health good health with this card but need to um keep moving um like that's okay in general health and well-being because i don't do health readings as such because I've got a nursing background so I really understand the legalities of that but if someone's wanting to know about their overall well-being it would be with this card a balance of food and common sense fresh air and exercise at um, whatever the health department says in your areas like that you know got to have 30 a day stuff or whatever they say so and he's constructive um, in his approach uh, he knows he's got to sort of look after himself in that way 
Uh, he has, looking when you look at him, he has the crown of laurels because not only is he successful himself, but he honours his opponents. Um, he has the um, scepter, uh, scepter in his hand where he sort of um, is like Nero. Um, he can be a bit tyrannical in certain situations but that's just that emperor energy that he has so some people would see that's forthright and taking charge some people would see it as a as a bit tyrannical um he's got he is very guided in what he does and he thinks before he does anything and transmit he's sort of not the mars energy of the chariot where he just takes off any old how um, they're both ruled by Mars, but this is sort of like more of a strategist type of Mars energy. Um, um, if I read the two together, I'll explain in, in, on another video. So, he has concrete projects. Nothing's left to chance with him. As I said, he's stability, strategy, thinks things through, and um, wants a positive outcome to things. And, and he... Uh, very very um, successful now the reason I chose to read these two together was he uh, these two go together I like them because they sorry I just had a little I'll have a sip of water well it's not water it's hibiscus tea it's winter here when I'm doing this in in um, Australia and so if we have the heaters on and things it becomes very drying and you don't sort of realize it so I apologize for that but getting back to these two in a when people come to me for a reading and it's often in a relationship reading and I'm using the 12 cards um, and it wouldn't matter if I was reading the R Rider Waite Smith but if I'm using the majors I like these two to be looking to each other because they're seeing eye to eye and they're um he's sort of reaching out in a sense of um ha uh, commitment there and she's sort of sitting there saying well yeah i'm commitment to you if you're committed to me <laughs> um and that's how they work in together so they are commitment so if i was reading if you sort of let me see someone comes to me for a reading, oh, look, we'll work these out. Generally, this is a, this is a very common common layout. I might add um, that comes in in relationships that have broken down a little bit. If I'm reading particularly with the twelve majors, uh, if you're reading with a full deck and it's Rider Waite Smith, it can be very different. Uh, it might be different because uh, there's a lot more at play. But I tend to read with the majors a lot because I sort of find it's... I like to do short and direct readings. Um, and even if I'm reading with um, the Lenormand, I like the man and the lady to look together. So just say with this reading comes, you have this and... Um, not that one. She's... Not sure how it's all going to go, but uh, and the reading is like that, um, or like that. They'll all tell a story. Yeah, I'll move them around a couple of ways. So here we have our five cards. Five cards. Five cards are a good spread in the sense of if you're doing a line of five it can easily tell you a story and um, you can see from woe to go so if I'm reading the cards and it's for her um, I will read these two as the same person it's not necessarily that there's someone else involved unless um, the devil comes up um, that would that would tell me something else because this is something's happened suddenly and he's decided that he wants to sort of shake things up and break things down and the relationship has come to um, a breakdown 
and they don't know whether they're going to land or what's going to happen. It was all quite sudden out of the blue because they, she thought they were going along okay. And he is sort of looking back at his behaviour a little bit. And, and I'm speaking slowly because I'm, I'm explaining it to you in a learning environment. I usually don't read it. I, I read it fast. Um, but he's confused. But he doesn't know he's confused. He doesn't know he's confused about this stuff. And she's confused because she's thinking, well, what the hell's going on? He's done this. You know, things are not what they seem. There's something not he, you're not knowing about him. This is the reading from her perspective. Things aren't what they seem. This is the energy of the moment with these cards um, and for me I would then say with that now I've put this out because I've got some stuff out here but um, this then can also say well here it is and this is how it's evolved and you've reached this thing and you're looking to the future um, and you're sort of wondering wow so the next thing is for your client rather than just say well there's your five cards I want them money I would say to the client what do I come with to help me through this because in we need to empower our clients in my view or it can be my if you don't want to use it in an empowering language it could be about um, what do I what do I need to do to get through this what will help me do this? But I often like to use, well, you've got a lot of stuff inside of you. You're the empress after all. You're successful and I work on the things that people have been successful with. And then what do you come with to survive this one? And we'll just see what comes up to what I'd say. Ah. So the next card there would be this is what will help you get through this for the moment and that would be you have to cut out stressing about this and find your balance find your center because it's time to cut the worry be the best version of you and find do what you need to find balance um, that would be my advice for that. I don't tend to, for me, I personally don't tend to people to run off to lawyers, um, depending what background the person's given me. Um, this is just a very simplistic reading um, to demonstrate the cards as a story. Um, if the sitter gives you more stuff, well, then it would be con in context to say, well, um, to be able to cut out a lot of this stuff if you think that's the way it's going you may need to get some legal advice it just depends where the person's at in the age group and the financial situation of the person but what do they come with I was often if I ask it to myself what inner resources does this person come with to be able to deal with this stress about this stuff and then um I personally they go away and I look I'll cover this because I'm going to talk about things like this too when someone comes to me for a reading um, depends how it goes and how whatever they've set up how long they want and how, what we how we want to work the reading because every my readings are all tailored to the tailor to the individuals it's not necessarily one size fits all and anyone who's an experienced reader will know what they do but this is just something quick you can do um, you would then just say you're reading the cards for yourself and you were in this situation or your friends was I would let this go a week I wouldn't be doing this every day and getting into this sort of state I would do things to center yourself <laughs> because the cards are there to also help us and guide us in from my perspective so I hope, I hope that helps with that so 
uh, but the ultimate is and you'll see over each week how things evolve um, and it's not in the sense of it will well, read for yourself using my videos or if you're going to a reader the, a, a reputable reader in my opinion would say let this sit for a little while one week two week three week whatever the magic number is you have in your experience but only come to me for another reading should something change because something will change with these three definitely because they sort of change cards um, with that so that's just one outcome um, but ultimately you want to do your reading and have these cards gone and this has happened they're now facing each other um, what would have to happen okay the star sometimes it gets a little bit worse before it gets bad but I won't go down that road because I've spent enough time on it um, and I like to sort of see the lovers and temperance amongst the mix and that lets you know if these cards start appearing um, maybe it's um, this card and this card like that still without emperor and emperance the next time just say you've just say you've had a reading and the devil's turned up and the moon and everything well then you know they've sort of been on the on the on the chat seeing someone else or something but that doesn't necessarily mean it's all over um a lot of relationships can reconcile and the reason i sort of advocate that now in this day and age is because We've been through a period where 50, 49% of marriages have been breaking down left, right and centre. And who's benefited from it? The furniture people, <laughs> the lawyers um, and various other things have made a lot of benefit from it. But in these times since COVID, it's just not that straightforward. People have to maybe learn to um, reconcile and work out stuff and get educated about relationships. And I'll put some links in... Um, in my notes just if that's something if someone is interested in to learn about how actually relationships work that it's not just um, turf people out um, uh, it's another video anyway so just say you, you, per, your person comes back <laughs> in a week or two or three weeks or a month or whatever and they say and these cards come up and you say wow he's certainly thinking about the relationship and there's some positive things here but it's still sort of not turning the way you want it because you're not facing each other but you're getting close together and there's this sort of positive energy I would then sort of read that then in the meantime you just need to sort of stay centered and sort of keep things going the way you want it to be the best version of you always be the best version of you until you just then you want this, these together, and these together. That would be nice. All those together. Do you get what I mean, the flow of it? So when I, the way I would, if I was learning these cards, I would have my 12 cards out. I would be shuffling them around each day and making notes in an exercise book and playing with them and feeling with them and getting getting in tune with how they change from this to this and who's looking at who with that um, uh, and what strengths you have so one of the things is what is the current energy of this relationship at the moment and then if it turns out not to what you like that you're comfortable with what do I come with to support me through this to be able to manage this or deal with this because we all have inner resources that um, are very strong and that's her trust the wisdom within with that learn about relationships and often the Wu Wei approach 
can help. Now, just to clarify, in our pretend reading, none of the person the person has never said to me that they feel unsafe, and it's a domestic violence thing. And I think if you are a reader these days and um, the person's quite shaken it may be helpful to say do you feel safe at the moment where you are and then take it from there um, and because through COVID domestic well, domestic violence has always been a very big thing but it's um, very much on the rise now and there's a different sort of awareness and if that was the case you, as a reader you probably need to have some um, lists of places for help you know like it to, to your region like for me it's lifeline and respect and um, a couple of other ones and I always have them on a on my screen um, to help people because um, you don't know we we don't know who's at the end of the phone line or at the end of the video that has just asked you some simple question oh, I want to know what's happening with my relationship and it's a lot a little bit more involved with that um, so I, I hope that helps I'd love to hear your views on this if you're working with people or you're reading with friends or how the if these videos are helping or what can I do to sort of have them be of more help um, I'm just sort of going based on my experience and what I do Oops. better flick them over what was the cards we were talking about today We'll go back to our friends. <laughs> Even if we have that, it would be nice if it was amicable and respectful. Either way. But I read them, those two together, because it's also a good opportunity to talk about or show, demonstrate how they're nice if they are all the looking together. And that's what that's what I like for me when I'm reading Marseille um, less is more less is more with these cards and uh, uh, when they when they drew the Rider Waite Smith and it's a fantastic deck and it's got all this wonderful shit going on with it I get that but this was this is sort of a bit more traditional I don't know what's happening with the lightning the lightning the light every time I move woo, uh, and there's a lot going on which can give you lots of clues when you're learning maybe one of the bulbs is going in my camera lights here something weird's happening um, which is when you're learning however uh, you use your intuition more the less you see just so you know they're not happy I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.